Welcome back to News Geelong. Moving to the Geelong Football League and Geelong West St. Peter's opened the season with a 46 point win over St. Albans. To celebrate the occasion, News Geelong caught up with winning coach Terry Bright. Terry, well done on the win. Before we go into today's game though, could you tell us about the pre-season and what it's like being back at the Geelong West? Yeah, look, I've really enjoyed it and I think, I think I, the thing I've enjoyed the most is the uh, the way the players have taken to me and uh, how hard they've worked over the pre-season period. We've been going since uh, November and, uh, and the result today, they've got a win today, which is really good for the club and also for the playing group. Over the pre-season, who are the recruits that have really impressed you that have made their debut today and could be making their debut? Well, we had nine new players in the side today, so it's going to take us a while to to uh, gel as a team. Uh, there's no, no one individually. They all play well today, and I'm really excited about them all. So we're just a uh, group. And the other thing that was really exciting today, we had three under-18s from last year that played played in, our, in, in the side as well. So they've come out of under-18s and gone straight into the side, which is really exciting for the club. Fantastic to hear. Now, today's game, expectations of St Albans, your first game at home, How, what goes through the coach's mind? Well, it's just a matter of going through, it's just starting again, I think, and it's an, certainly had a knot in my stomach at the start of the game, but oh, look, as the game unfolded, once a game gets into action, you relax and you just do your business, and um, we were really... Um, Really excited about uh, how they played. You know, we gave them some easy goals that we shouldn't have. There's some things to work on, but in general, a win's a win. First up, we'll worry about it t tomorrow. What we have to improve on, and uh, look forward to North Shore in a fortnight. What's the overall goal for the whole season, especially as your first year as coach? Oh, look, to uh, we, you know, we won five games last year. Our aim is to win more than five and uh, and get some respect around the competition and uh, put as much pressure on some of these really good sides in the GFL as we can. And along the way, we're going to take some hits, but uh, uh, as we as we grow as a group, we'll get better and better. Terry, go enjoy your win. Thank you very much, mate. Thanks for that, Terry. News Geelong also caught up with St Albans coach. Clinton Proctor. Um, obviously a frustrating day for you, um, some positives to take out of it, um, what did you take out of it? Um, I thought our, our ability to adapt after the first quarter we got pretty touched up in the middle. Um, I thought Raf, Cameron Hall and Kirby Burke and Lockie Longmire through the midfield were able to sort of nullify their clearances and we started to get back on top and then I think in the end of the game we probably ended up 50-50 so it was a good positive out of that that we you know, understood where our weaknesses were and we nullified it from there. Obviously early on they had the chance to really put you away and um, they failed to do that. You mentioned that at, at quarter time um, and the fact that you were playing a lot on their terms. Were you, you would have been pleased to, that you could turn that around and, and play on your terms for the second and fourth quarter? Yeah, I mean for sure. I mean like they should have honestly at least, um, you know, been a lot, what, probably seven or eight, nine goals up. But we meant, you know, they missed a lot of opportunities. Um, it was good effort from the boys to sort of arm wrestle it back in. but. You know, disappointing with the end result. Yeah. Are the recruits for uh, this game, Raf Clark, uh, Cameron Hall was from South Australia, and I think yeah. did Carmody play? Or? Yeah, Carmody. So, what were your impressions of them in the first real GFL hit out? Well, I thought, yeah, Raf was outstanding, and I think that's pretty evident out there today. He, he, he worked his, you know, he worked really tirelessly all day, and then went into the ruck for us as well, and gave us a good option through there. Um, I thought Cameron Hall was terrific as well. You know. He gets plenty of the ball, um, you know, he did a good job and, and I'm not sure how many goals Bogles kicked but um, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure that Camo did a serviceable job down back. We just need a little bit more from him with um, his use of the footy, that's all, as a leader. Um, similar to what I mentioned before, in patches you, you fell away um, but you never seemed to give up, you always kept you know, finding a way back in the game. Was that another positive that you took out of it? I mean. Yeah, I, I, you know, I hear what you're saying. Like we've got a young group, so it's going to take time to, uh, you know, gel and come together. Um, so it was a good effort on their behalf to come back and and find a way back into the game. But in the end, I thought, uh, you know, Geelong West were terrific at their pressure at the in the forward line around the stoppages. Um, you know, they just they just simply got through too many tackles of ours. We didn't hold them up. Um, and their spread from the stoppages was even better as well. So they were able to, you know, run and carry the footy and put scoreboard pressure on, which is important. So, you know, they're, they're playing a good brand of football. I think they'll be a good team this year. From today's performance, what do you think's ahead of you boys for the rest of the year? Oh, what's that old cliche? One step at a time, one game at a time, you know. But it is for us because, you know, uh, we addressed at the start of the year that it's a process, you know, it's a two or three year plan. We, we believe we've got the right people down here with Raf Clark, Cameron Hall, you know, Carmody, Lockie Longmire. 
Um, they're good leaders on and off the field and you know they're going to hold us in good stead for years to come. It's just you know we've just got to put it together. It's going to take time. Um, and, and we'll just go into next um, you know, round two with a break and you know, hopefully fresh and ready to go. Just uh, one last one. Uh, the personal return, how far away till we see you running back in the, uh, not only the St Albans colours, maybe even the Interleague colours this year? Yeah, um, I'll, look, I'll look to round two. Yep. Hopefully, uh, you know, if I get through a, a good week on the track and um, some decent running, you know, I should be up by uh, round two hopefully there. And then, you know, I think it's what... Three, four, five weeks after that, and not far from Inter League. So, yeah, I'm certainly keen to have a crack at that for one more time, especially 1v2, so it should be good. Thanks for that, Clinton. We hope to see you back in the Guernsey in the next couple of rounds. Well, that's it for sport in this 300th edition of News Geelong. Back to you, Rollo. Thank you, Ticket Agani. Another top sports report. And, Alex, we hope you enjoy your week of sport as we look forward to more expert info next week. Thank you for being with us on News Geelong and our 300th program. A magic moment for all that have been involved in this program throughout our journey. Congratulations to our producer Noel Fanning for his vision and continued energy in maintaining the high standards associated with all items presented on our News Geelong programs. With your support over the time ahead, we can continue to present this program. So if you are a company or business, that can, can assist through your sponsorship, contact us to discuss the continuation of News Geelong throughout 2013 and beyond. Remember, it is for the people of Geelong, the Surf Coast and surrounding districts. And while we're on, congratulations to Lee Hartman from Geelong for and his new appointment as the Regional General Manager for the AFL Bowen region in the new structure of regional football coming our way. Well done, Lee. Don't forget 8am tomorrow morning for the Geelong and District Football League Netball Show, followed by the Geelong and District Football League Footy Show with Digital Dick, Grubby Cations, Uncle Tob Cobbler and all. Digital Dick, too big to miss. Enjoy the week ahead, stay safe and a very good night. <laughs>